video, I'm going to talk about what are bots, probability of website, the Google Search Console, what is sitemap, how to generate and submit to Google Search Console, what is robot detects and why it's important, how to create and use robot detects, how to test robot detects and the best practices. I am Dave. I'm a holistic SEO specialist. My ultimate goal is to help you optimize your website to work for you by using holistic SEO. I create content and trainings on how to improve your website to help it rank higher and increase its searchability online. I promote easy and safe to use SEO practices. What are bots? A search engine like Google consists of crawler and index and algorithm. It goes around the internet 24-7. When Google's crawler finds your website, it will read and its content is saved in the index. The index is Google's huge database in which the content of all the websites are saved. Depending on how important Google finds your site and the amount of changes you make on your website, the, cr the crawler comes around more or less. A crawler is also called a robot, a bot, or a spider. Once it comes to a website, it saves the HTML version of a page in a gigantic database called the index. The index is updated every time the crawler comes around the website and finds a new or revised version of it. After indexing your website, Google can show your website in the search results. Google results page shows the site which fit your search best. We call these results as the organic search results. Take a look at crawlability and how to block or allow access to certain parts of your website and how to fix site indexation coverage. Submitted URLs blocked by robot attacks. What is crawlability? To check if your website is indexed by search engines like Google, Bing, and Yahoo, go to the search engine's search box, type site, and then your domain URL. This will show the number of pages that your site is indexed in Google. As you can see that I have only about 10 results so far because my site is in. To improve the site's performance, let's add the website in Google Search Console. search engines better crawl and categorize your website by submitting a sitemap in Google Search Console. First, you have to add your website in Google Search Console. To do that, go to the domains and go to add property. Then, select property type, then add your domain. Then, click continue. Then you will need to verify your domain ownership. As you can see that my domain is already verified. But to show by your domain in Google Search, go to property. And then, go to settings. Then ownership verification. Here are the verification methods to verify your website in Google Search Console. You can verify it by uploading an HTML file to your site or add an HTML tag to the meta section of your website.
Google Analytics to track your site's traffic, you can verify your site in Google Search Console using Google Analytics too. Or you can also verify it using Google Tag Manager. What are sitemaps? How to generate sitemaps and submit it to Google Search Console. To generate sitemap in your website, I generate sitemap using a WordPress SEO plugin. I use used SEO. So I go to the SEO use setting, go to general and go to features. Then go to the XML sitemaps and make sure that you enable it. Don't forget to save the changes. Then to view the sitemaps, the your XML sitemaps, the domain format is usually your site slash sitemap.xml. Once it's generated, it will list down all the sitemaps of your website. Then these sitemaps are the one that you will use to submit in the Google Search Console. How to submit sitemap in Google Search Console? First, you have to access your Google Search Console account, go to your website property, then go to index and go to sitemaps. In here is where you can add a new sitemap. Just paste the sitemap or you can type the sitemap here. I'm showing you that I'm adding my page sitemap. I already submitted my blog post sitemaps. So let's check if my page sitemap is working. So just copy it to the new browser, paste to the browser and just enter and it will list down all the pages pages of your website so i want google to index these pages so just paste the sitemap here then click submit and then it will show you a status of the site submitted let's talk about the text and why it is important black crawlers from indexing your website. One is the HTTP header of your website's page status code that the page does not exist. Two, the robot text file blocks the crawler. Three, robot meta tag on a specific page blocks a website. On the Google Search Console index coverage, here is a new coverage issue detected for citing or .com. Search Console has identified that your site has coverage issues. Errors prevent the page or the site appearing in search results because submitted URL blocked by robot text. So to fix this coverage issue, I need to create a robot.txt file and upload to the root domain of my site and allow Googlebot to access these certain areas of my website, pages and posts. Pages or section of your website that you may or may not want user to find through search engines. Fortunately, there's a way to prevent Google or other search engine accessing the specific pages by editing your site's robot that text. What are robot that text? The robot that text file is one of the primary ways of telling search engine where it can and can't go on your website. It includes instructions for search engines about how to discover and extract information from your website. First thing a search engine crawler does when it reaches the site is to look for a robot.txt file. If there isn't one, it will proceed to crawl the rest of the site as normal. If it does find that file, the crawler will look within it for any commands before moving on. There are four common commands in robot.txt. One is disallow. 
it prevents search engine crawlers from examining and indexing specific sites files. Allow, it enables access to subfolders while the parent folders are disallowed. Crawl delay instructs crawlers to wait a certain amount of time before loading a file and sitemap calls out the location of any sitemap associated with the website. How to create robot the text? Step 1. Create a file name robot the text. Make sure that the name is lowercase and make sure that the extension is the text and not the HTML. Step 2. Add any desired directives to the file and save. Step 3. Upload the file using SFTP to the root directory of your site. So using the robot.txt file, first you open a notepad and save the file as robot.txt. To add desired directives to the robot.txt file. These are the commands that you want Google access and not access areas of your website. And you may want or don't want Google to index this content in the search engine results. So, here are useful robot.txt rules, common useful robot.txt rules that you may want to add in your robot.txt file. So, just go to the search console help and search for the robot.txt useful rules. is add or edit robot.txt file using FTP client in your website root folder. Simply connect to your WordPress hosting account using an FTP client that once you're inside, you will be able to see the robot.txt file in your website root domain. Just edit the robot.txt file or if you don't see one, you'd likely don't have a robot.txt file. In that case, you just need to create one. How to test robot.txt Have to see if you have a robot.txt file by adding a robot.txt to the end of your site's URL. Here you see that I don't have a robot.txt file, so I need to upload a robot.txt file to my site. Note that even if the file is up, there is likely that it is not correctly set up. So you can test your robot.txt with the robot.txt tester. Just go to the search console help and go to open robot.txt tester. If you haven't added your site, you just need to add your site in the Google search console. So here is my client website and I'm testing the robot.txt of this site and checking for error. guys hope you find this video helpful like and share and comment down below if you have questions please don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel and visit my website thank you guys